My work is about people. We all speak the same universal language, the language of emotion. In my work, I try to express the layers of human experience that can be just as indescribable as they are deep. My intuition, but also my sensitivity, picks up on the moment, which I then translate into images. I love big works of art because they enable me to use human sizing and this space almost demands it. Physically, I also enjoy working with large pieces of linen. Movement and gestures are important elements in my work. Drawing is very straightforward. You have a pen or a brush and paper. Are you aware how beautifully the body is built? Its proportions, the details, it's truly magnificent. I quickly learned the intricacies of the anatomy of the human body. And once you understand the academics, then you can let go and it becomes its own image with its own identity. I also use my own personal experiences. I associate a loving gesture or a beautiful neck with soft things I have encountered in my life. Beautiful things. Painful things. Light things. Heavy things. New things. And old things. Zijn dit schetsen die ik dus uit mijn hoofd over die studio heb gemaakt, omdat ik daar nu mee bezig ben. It all starts with a thought. That is the base for an image. Once it is out in the world, it can create a new and often a monumental experience. There are drawings that have been done from life. You notice it because of all the small details, from a tiny bone to a small crease in the body. But I also enjoy drawing from the top of my head. Or just an idea. You can draw something that surpasses the visible that surpasses reality. And that is so exciting. I have now finally reached the stage where I can treat the linen as I have always treated paper. I work freely and with confidence. When I switch my mind off, when reason is gone, the most beautiful things can happen. Those moments often occur when I experiment, when I sketch and do my research, drawing and erasing, cutting and pasting, without a plan. These experiments of shapes and colors are continuously evolving and shaping my work. The thoughts, the notes, the sketches, the research. They are energetic fields in my studio. Something hangs in the air. That feeling, that thought, that is the key to unlock the next painting. <laughs>